For most of human history, our vision of the cosmos was surprisingly small. The Milky Way galaxy, with its brilliant river of stars, was thought to be the entire universe, a vast, solitary island of stars adrift in an endless, empty void. Dotted among its stars were faint, blurry patches of light called nebulae, believed to be swirling clouds of gas or solar systems in the process of formation. The most famous of these was the Great Andromeda Nebula. To the naked eye, it was a faint smudge. Through a telescope, a beautiful, mysterious spiral cloud. For centuries, astronomers debated its true nature. Was this nebula a nearby cloud of gas, a cradle for new stars within our own cosmic home? Or was it something far more profound? The debate came to a head in the early 1920s. The key to solving the mystery would be a new cosmic yardstick discovered by the brilliant astronomer Henrietta Swan Leavitt. She had found that a certain type of star, called a Cepheid variable, pulses at a rate directly related to its true, intrinsic brightness. They were perfect, standard candles. If you know how bright a light truly is, you can tell how far away it is just by seeing how dim it appears. Using the powerful new 100-inch Hooker telescope at Mount Wilson Observatory, an astronomer named Edwin Hubble began a meticulous study of the Andromeda Nebula. Night after night he aimed the telescope at Andromeda, painstakingly capturing its faint light on photographic plates. Then he found it. A single, pulsing point of light within the nebula, a Cepheid variable. Hubble measured its pulse rate to determine its true brightness, then compared that to how dim it appeared. The calculation that followed would forever change humanity's place in the universe. The numbers were staggering. Andromeda wasn't thousands of light years away, nestled within our galaxy. It was nearly a million light years distant. It couldn't possibly be inside our galaxy. It was an island universe of its own, just as vast and magnificent as our own Milky Way, populated with hundreds of billions of its own stars. In an instant, the known universe didn't just get bigger. It shattered and reformed into something incomprehensibly vast. The walls of our cosmic home came crashing down. We were not alone in an island universe. We were just one island in an endless cosmic ocean filled with countless other galaxies stretching out to the limits of our sight. That single discovery transformed cosmology forever. Today, we know there are hundreds of billions, perhaps even...